This is the image that I chose to base my felting picture on. It's a stock image taken from inside Dudley Castle grounds. I chose this one because it shows the simple forms of the castle and it stands out against the bright sky. It's important to do a little sketch before you start felting just to get a feel for the colours you're going to use and it's really important to think about what's in the background and what's in the foreground because when you're doing felting like with acrylic painting you want to do the background first and then work up to the detail in the foreground. So we're going to start by needle felting the base for the picture. I'm going to use grey wool for this because we're going to cover this up afterwards anyway but it will also make a bit of a base for the castle. So I've used a cardboard ring here that I cut out of a hot chocolate container, one of the large Cadbury's hot chocolate containers. So you can find any circular ring, it could be a big cookie cutter um, if you want it. I've been felting this for about 15 minutes now, turning it over every so often to check it doesn't stick to the base, to the foam. So you'll know that it's done when you can take the cardboard collar away and then when you pick it up it holds its shape. I turn it over and it feels nicely felted. Okay, doesn't matter, it's a bit fluffy at this stage because this is just the base, we're going to end up working over the top of it. If you want to, you can carry on with the rest of the project with it in its base because that's just going to help it keep its shape. I cut my cardboard colour nice and short so that around the edge so that it, it, I don't have too far to um to lean into it's not in the way when I'm when I'm felting. If you've got a few little different hues of blue it's a good idea to mix it up a little bit before you start so I'm just shredding it together so that you get the different strands of the different blues all coming through to make it a bit more natural. You probably won't need all of the blue that you've been sent in your pack so split that in half because then you've got some more to add later if you need to. Then I'm going to place that on half of the felting disc and then I'm going to needle felt that in. Not worrying about detail at the moment, we're just going to the background. Next I'm going to add some wispy white clouds, so just with a tiny bit of white we can just lay some on and it's a good idea to do this before doing the actual castle because then it's going to look more natural that the sky and the clouds are behind the castle. Then I'm going to felt these on. So remember now that we're doing the detail it's important to lift your project off the base as you go because you don't want to have done the whole thing and then get to the end and find that it's all stuck. I'm going to create the colour for the hill now. So I'm going to go with the yellow and the green and I'm going to mix it up because unfortunately I didn't have a bright green colour. So this is a way of just getting the colour we want. So I've drawn this out, a new little sketch. Um, I've sketched this to scale, so what I'm going to do in a minute is cut out some of the elements to cut out the felt. So I've got a piece of the grey felt with a bit of the brown flexed in to make the brick colour. And I felted this down for probably about 5-10 minutes and then I washed it in hot and cold water as I had with the base just to flatten it down. I did this for, um, for speed really because I wanted to get it done quite quickly. You don't have to use the wet felting technique, you can just use the needle felting technique. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out elements of the design, lay it on top of the um, felt and then cut it out. So I've got the elements of the project laid out now. I cut out the my little drawer into a stencil and then I laid the stencils on top of the felt and I've cut round it in the three sections. 
This is really fiddly. You could do with some really sharp scissors if you're going to choose to do it this way. It isn't the easiest thing to cut it out. But the firmer your felt is, so the longer you felt it for, the easier this will be. So now I'm going to needle felt the pieces into place. With the little bits of felt that are left over from cutting out the main structure, you can cut out small little pieces to add detail. So I'm going to add this on for the turrets. So I've added a little bit of brown detail around the door for some bricks. And to make the windows where the light's coming through, I've just got some white wool and just got to roll it. It's really small. Roll it between your fingers and then we can just felt that on top. So I've spent quite a lot of time adding some details in. I've put white for the windows and some darker colours for the windows, the door, and I've exaggerated the path. The whole castle ended up being a lot bigger than I'd originally planned, so this is something definitely to watch out for when you're aiming for this level of detail. And what I'm doing now, just to make all the, the buildings and the detail pop out, is just getting some really fine little bits of wool and I'm going to edge the edge of the buildings with them. And then you can really felt in to give it definition. So in these areas here, I've just felted right in, just so that the buildings look separate. But they're still the same colour. So it's just about going over the areas that you want to pop out over and over again. I've decided to add a flag to the castle, because most of the time there is a flag flying over Dudley Castle. I decided to do a rainbow one. So I've um, taken some strands of rainbow colours, but you could do whatever um, style of flag you like. So I'm going to try and add these on, some very thin strands onto the, onto the picture. So I'm working on my rainbow flag, and I've matted each one down, felted each one down. As I'm going, I'm really pinching it in to get that shape. I'm doing a really long strand because I'm working on the basis that I'm going to choose the best bit to use. So I'm stretching it out and then felting it down. I've added some detail outline just to make the castle stand out. And I've also added my flag. So I think I've finish the project. could probably carry on for a lot longer and just keep adding detail and adding felting things down. So just enjoy it, spend as much time with it as you want to. As I said it is quite a fiddly project so you do have to have patience with it. Okay, I look forward to the Newcastle picture soon. Bye.